Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another old-school RuneScape video. If you've been following my guides or even my live streams, you may know that gathering skills are just not my cup of tea. Mining is boring, fishing makes me want to low alka myself, and woodcutting... Well, if I go any further, I could break YouTube's terms of service. Thankfully, with activities like the Volcanic Mine, Temporos, and the most recent one being Forestry, their respective skills are not as bad as they used to be. You may have noticed I skipped one gathering skill, and that is Hunter. Not counting birdhouses and the herbivore, for the longest time, this has been RuneScape's neglected child which seems to have been long forgotten. But that is all about to change in a few months. During the Summer Summit, Jagex announced what could be the final expansion to Zaya, and it is a huge new area by the name Valamore. One of the features planned is a hunter guild, but not only that, Jagex is planning to completely revolutionize the skill, and maybe even at a bigger scale than activities like Guardians of the Rift. In this video, we will go over all the potential changes to hunter, and explain how they will literally change the game forever, in terms of that particular skill. If you fellas enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, drop a cheeky like, and stay tuned to the channel as I will be covering the Hunter Guild and all of the Valamor content as soon as it drops in early 2024. My only disclaimer is that even after Jagex addressed initial feedback, everything we will talk about here is subject to change. My aim is to inform you about the impact that this could have in the game, as it might make Hunter an actually enjoyable and reliable skill to get to 99. Boys and girls, let's begin. Before we start, it is important to give you just a bit of feedback as to how the skill has worked until now. Hunter was released in November 2006, and this happened during a time where we would know about a new skill being added in the game literally the day it dropped. Back in my day, we didn't have any of this community consultation process we had for sailing. Okay, but memes aside, Hunter released with an overwhelming amount of variety, but as the game evolved and more specifically during old school RuneScape, most players just want to get it over with as quickly as possible, which almost completely kills content that is not the most efficient path to 99. And hell, even some Hunter features don't even work to this day. If you remember my Hunter guide, none of the current Hunter outfits work properly, when they should give you at least a small passive bonus when hunting for the respective creature. The general idea of the Hunter Guild, and what I will unofficially call a Hunter Expansion, is to breathe a new life into older content, add more creatures to interact with, and give the entire skill some much needed love. So, let's go over the most important changes, and to tell you how they will help the entire game. Slayer has Slayer tasks, Farming has Farming contracts, and the newest iteration of this mechanic will be something called the Hunter's Rumors. You will talk to one of the Hunters in a pub inside the guild, and they will offer an assignment for you to fulfill. Just like farming contracts, you will need to confirm the rumor in order to start. If you want to get a new one, you will be able to reset it by offering specific items obtained from other activities, but more on that later. The interesting part about this is that unlike Slayer and farming, the main mechanic for rumors is that you will need to catch a specific creature until they drop what Jagex are calling a rare creature part. Unlike Slayer, while you need to defeat a certain number of enemies, rumors will be a bit based on RNG and won't take as long a Slayer task or a farming contract. This will be typically between 8 and 10 minutes. Set rumors will come in 4 different tiers, and you will need levels 46, 57, 72, and 91. Now you might be like, okay, wait a second, you can't do anything at level 91 Hunter and beyond except for maybe catching Dragon and the Lucky Implings barehanded, and of course the Hunter Cape. This makes it clear that new creatures are coming into the game, and we will talk about them later. If you remember, I mentioned a rare creature part randomly obtained from your current task. These can be traded for different rewards in the guild like loot, meat, fur, and of course bones. You may also obtain other Valamore specific items which will help in other activities. In addition, we are going to be getting a new Hunter outfit that actually works, as it will provide a 2.5% bonus experience and an increased 5% chance to obtain rare creature parts. One of the most exciting things is that by opening loot you will have a chance to obtain a new Hunter pet, a little Quetzal, which is commonly found here in Mexico. So whatever team you are on, you could see this as either representation or cultural appropriation. But joking aside, it's pretty interesting to see that now we have three pets tied to the Hunter skill. A little bit too much if you ask me, but always something nice to look forward to when doing rumors. And speaking of Quetzal, we have a new transportation method in the game called the Quetzal Transport Network. After completing five rumors, you will be given a basic Quetzal whistle, and after completing rumors, you will have a 1 in 50 chance of obtaining blueprints for an enhanced and a perfected whistle. The higher the tier, the more charges they will be able to hold. They will both have dry strict protection, and you will guarantee the drops at 100 and 250 rumors respectively. 
After you charge them by feeding the Quetzal at the Hunter Guild going up with a tier of the offering, the Quetzal Whistle will swiftly bring you back to the Hunter Guild from anywhere in RuneScape. So, this will be like a Slayer Ring, or the Farming Cape, which will take you back to get another assignment. You cannot have a Hunter expansion without new creatures, and the first ones are mobs. You will be catching them with a butterfly net and jars, and by using them, you will be able to buff yourself up and other players in a 3x3 area with one of the following effects. The Sunlight Moth, available at level 65, restores 6 plus 20% of your reduced stats as well as 8 hit points. The Moonlight Moth, available at level 75, restores 5 plus 10% of your level in prayer points. Simply put, a different variation of super restores and even prayer points. Of course, not making them too powerful because... I'm a power creep! Another new creature is an antelope with the two variants. The Sunlight Antelope will be available at level 72, and the Moonlight at level 91. They will drop new horns and meat, and these are super exciting not just for Hunter. The horns will be used to, to make a new Hunter crossbow, and bolts to aid you in the skill and maybe in general combat. And the Antelope meat coming from both creatures will be new healing items. The Sunlight Antelope meat will heal a flat to 21 HP which falls between sharks and manta rays. The Moonlight Antelope Meat will now be the best healing item in the game, but with a twist. Because all the moaning about power creep or some people might complain about how their food will be devalued, the Moonlight Antelope Meat will now heal a total of 26 HP, but it's going to give you 14 HP up front and 12 HP a few ticks later, also healing one poison. Apparently you'll be unlocking these after a certain amount of rumors, so people will need to interact with the activity before using these for PVM. Jerboas will be caught at level 39 with box traps, and you will get Jerboa tails from them, which will be crafted into new hunter spears. You can also use them as bait for foxes in deadfall traps. Fennec foxes will come in different forms, and they will be dropping general supplies like fox fur and meat. They will surely come in handy when you are in the hunter guild. A new tier of salamander is coming, and these are native to the mountains. Mountain Salamanders will be caught at level 79 Hunter with the same method we do now, using ropes and small fishing nets. They will be useful for general PVMing, but the cool part about them is that if you want to use them in PvP, you will need to train them at the Hunter Guild. If you die to another player while wearing them, you will have to go through the same process. I'm pretty sure PKers are going to absolutely love this mechanic. Here's a final look at the list of meat available and what will be coming after this expansion. As most of you know, common food around Gelenor is fish. Antelope meat won't be the only item changing the healing game, but various hunter creatures will drop new food you'll be able to cook. We have Kebid, Larupia, Barbed Kebid, Graha, Kikayat, Fox Meat, and finally Dashing Kebid. I'm sure this won't really change the direction of the cooking skill, as it will be for primarily to give more diversity to help players heal hit points. And of course, what is the hunter expansion without new weapons and armor? The different types of fur and hide you obtain will be used to make new mixed hide gear. This set will be available at levels 60 ranged along 50 defense, giving an alternative to Red Dragon Hide, of course granted you have a few more defense levels. It's going to be a hybrid armor for both melee and ranged, and it's going to be balanced around Dragon Hide items for the same tier. As soon as the blog came out, we had a new item called the Hunter Bolas. After community feedback, it will now be Hunter Spears we talked about before, and you will be able to wear them at level 55 ranged and 30 strength. How they will fit in the meta compared to other items like this is yet to be seen, but definitely a fun addition. In order to breathe a new life into existing content, Jackix are giving us the option to upgrade the Hunter crossbow with items obtained from antelopes. The Sun Antelope horns will be used on the crossbow to make it a stronger variant, and you'll be able to craft the new bolts from both the Sunlight and the Moonlight Antelope with a range strength between 92 and the 94. The new crossbow will come to rival the Ring Crossbow. If you train Hunter with creatures that don't give stackable or storable items like Chinchampas or the Herbivore, part of the frustration hunting these is how quickly your inventory fills up, especially for Larupia's Grahak and Kikayats. The Hunter pouches come to change that, as you'll be able to make them out of fur you obtain from some important items when training the skill. You'll also be able to make sacks to store meat in order for you to keep hunting for a good while. The current Hunter outfits will be given a buff, and the Larupia, Grahak, and Kayat outfits will now provide reduced damage in case the respective creature hits you. So, for example, the Grahak outfit will only provide reduced damage when hunting Grahaks in case you mess up. Also, all the outfits will now give you 5kg weight reduction for the top and the leg slot. Finally, we have something called the Trap Storage. In order to avoid having small fishing nets, ropes, bird traps, teasing sticks, noose wands, box traps just to mention a few, just like the tackle box for fishing obtained from Temporos, trap storage will let you... 
well, store all the hunter-related items in one convenient spot. And now, boys and girls, time for a few unscripted thoughts for the end of the video, as I would like to give my own opinion other than telling you how all of this is going to work out. The first uh, thing that I should talk about is that this entire change, the expansion to Valamore, not only that, but just for Hunter in general, is going to be absolutely amazing, and I believe it will be the only time in which a new content like this is going to make me I have to update the Hunter Guide for 2024, so, you know, as soon as it drops, I might potentially see how the skill changes, and I believe with a new Hunter contract, I believe we are owed a new Hunter Guide, but that is yet to be seen. When it comes to the contracts, I'm super excited that we are now having more incentive to catch other creatures, because in the past, if you remember my Hunter Guide again, um, it would go, uh, go to this creature, then this one, this one, 99, boom, there you go. So this is going to give us not only great incentive to spice up the entire experience game, but also to give us, you know, those types of loot boxes that we have, like the... Soul Wars activity, by the way, and the little Quetzal pet is uh, is looking absolutely cute. And like I said before, could be representation, cultural appropriation, that is for you to decide. Uh, but jokes aside, I do like the teleportation system, and it is going to incentivize people to, to do more of these in order to get back to the guild and then train even more. Now, the only quote-unquote bad thing that I can see from this is that there aren't many creatures added into the game, like, you know, new ones, especially for the late game. If you remember, the ones we have are antelopes at level 91, and then, you know, we have some salamanders that could be used, but uh, post-91, other than, you know, the ones I mentioned, there's not really a lot that would, well, I mean, maybe not incentivize, but we're not going to be able to use it too many for the high highest level uh, tier of rumors in order for us to get as, much, as many points as possible. I, and, and of course, the other one being the mods. Now, I know that a lot of these are for either early or mid-game, especially for the mods. I would have loved to see another moth with maybe a stronger but more balanced passive effect, like maybe not make it super powerful compared to Bruce, uh, Restores, and other other potions that we have. Um, but maybe a new tier of moth might be really, really cool at level, what, 93, 94, and then another tier of antelope since we only have it too. The addition of new creatures looks absolutely insane, but maybe adding one or two more, just like they did with the foxes, as you can see if you read the blog, the fennec foxes are not going to be decided yet, but we are going to be given some options, just like the kebits we have. The normal kebit, dark kebit, dashing kebit is going to be pretty cool. So, Jagex, if you're watching this video, which maybe maybe there's just at least one Jagex mod in the office watching my videos, um, maybe one more of these creatures for a higher tier might be really cool. Maybe, like, make them 93... 94, 95, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, about the meat, the only thing, or the only drawback that I see is that because of power creep, like, oh, my manta rays, my anglers, right? Uh, the antelope meat is not going to be, you know, the strongest one right away, but what about if we have this higher tier antelope, then it can be, you know, it can give you the 26, or maybe you can do something more convoluted with the meat in order to make it, you know, heal 26, 27, 28 up front, but of course make it more difficult to get, this would give uh, both hunt cooking uh, even more use and it is going to be an extra money-making method for people looking to heal a ton when doing PVMing. Um, when it comes to mid-game items like all the hunter, the ranged armor, the spears, they look pretty cool. Of course, I'll be trying them out, I'll be seeing them, but it's obviously as a max the main player, it's not something I'm going to be using. Uh, I'll of course be testing it out and I'll make another video showing all of the items uh, coming out and how you can use them in the most efficient way possible. Other than that, this update looks absolutely amazing, and I don't think I have been more excited for any update other than Desert Treasure 2, uh, Tombs of a Mascot, and Leagues. I believe in 2024, like, whenever I make videos or whenever I finish a year and say, dude, this year for Old School RuneScape was beautiful, Jagex comes in with these summits, and they just give us even more content that I'm super excited for, and I cannot wait to see what 2024 has in store for us, not only with Valamore, but also, maybe, just maybe, we might be getting sailing either as a beta or a final version in late to 2024. And just a little sneak peek, the... Uh, I want to make another, vi uh, another video on sailing after the next guide, which uh, you guys will see. You're going to hopefully enjoy it. And yeah, so I'm going to be making another one, and we're going to chat a lot more about the sailing now that things are finalized, and we are going to be getting a new skill in Old School RuneScape. Now, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked this rambly video, this, you know, nice bit about the Hunter. I want to give a massive thank you to all the channel members, your support. You have no 
idea how much it helps. Me, the family, the wife, the puppy. We cannot go... I mean, I really, really hope you're enjoying the videos and we hope to continue providing entertaining content. Make sure to click the join button below if you want to join this a list of legends and of course get a lot of perks in the videos, in the live streams and in the Discord. In the next one, I am going to upload another 1 to 99 guide, which I don't have my list open right now, but I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to enjoy it. We are almost done with a 1 to 99 guides, as at the time of making this video, I only have Slayer to make. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy, hope you're looking forward to the Hunter expansion. I hope you have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next one. Ba-ba-ba-ba, peace.